Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic TBC and our Tauren Warrior playthrough. Today I think I want to finish up in Terracar, and by that I mean we're probably not going to 100% it. I want to take a look at these last few quests that we have going on, and I, I want to get them wrapped up, and I want to head over to Nagrand. That is kind of what I want to do, so we're going to work on a hero is needed, and we're going to fight Akanai Doomsayers. Uh, we're going to be taking on Akanai Initiates as well for the same quest. I don't think I'm going to be doing the group quest here. None of them give very good rewards. And some of them are like... Some of them are escort quests, which is a little bit strange. Uh, so I don't think I'll be doing those. Uh, I am kind of interested in getting into Nagrand and seeing something new. But I, I want to finish up the few solo quests that we have here. So we're going to work on those today. And see how far that gets us. I am in the queue for uh, Caverns of Time Durnhold. There are no healers in the queue right now, and I don't feel like putting a lot of effort into the qu into uh, into getting a group together. But I'm going to check this occasionally, and I'm going to see if a healer pops in. Uh, because Durnhold, there off the first two bosses, there are definitely items that we want. So I'd like to do it, uh, I just don't want to spam for 30 minutes for a healer. Because it is 1.45 in the afternoon on a Friday, so... Not really prime time, so I, I can't really expect too much. Uh, and also it's going to be a lot of travel, right? We're going to have to get to Shatrath, uh, teleport to Org, and then from Orgrimmar we're going to have to fly down to Gadjikstan and make the run to Caverns of Time. So... It's uh, quite a bit more travel than any of the other dungeons that we might do at this level. But we do need to be running it because we do need some upgrades out of there. Uh, if I don't find a group this afternoon, I'll probably look this evening. When healers will hopefully be more prevalent. We got the Doom Skull. Yeah, this is for the group quest though, which... Like I said, I'm, I'm not really thinking that I'm going to do those. Before we go start going too hard here, let's go ahead and get some potions up. And we'll see if we can uh, die a little bit less than last time. Ah, uh, she's going to walk right at us and interrupt this eating, isn't she? That's unfortunate. That's a waste of buff food. And she's going to get a heal off. <laughs> we are just on a roll today. All right, let's get our head in the game here a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and use the last of the spicy crawdads that we have. We can take that off our bar. I can move this down. Okay, let's see if we can eat for 10 seconds without getting interrupted here. There we go. Well, I don't need any of these other guys. So, where am I? I guess I'm going to have to come down here to the south to get the rest of the kills that we need. Let's do that. Uh, and then we have to come over here to collect uh, our malevolent hatchlings. We have to collect cursed eggs, spawn malevolent hatchlings. I really want to see just a new zone. I, I guess Terracar has kind of been weighing on me a little bit, especially the stuff here in the Bone Waste. 
like this part of Terracar, the northern part of Terracar is really cool and I, I enjoyed it when we first came here as a, as a big break from Zengermarsh. But I didn't enjoy it as much as Zengermarsh, mainly because of this southern area that's just kind of a, a moon, moon palette colored wasteland. Alright, get the rest of the guys we need over here. We need to find 12 initiates somewhere out here. And kind of my goal for today for myself, between questing and maybe doing a dungeon later, is that I'd like to hit level 67. That's kind of my goal. I've sort of been trying to do a level a day that hasn't really always been working out, but... And understandably, it is taking longer and longer to get a level. Alright, that's all for those guys. Let's look around and see if we can find some initiates. Apparently there are four of them that spawn. And we need, uh, twelve. So, <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, someone's, uh... Are you doing this quest? Can we, like, team up? Let's just make this easier. I, I can't tell if he's doing this quest or not. He doesn't seem to have questy. Uh, let's check here. Yeah, it looks like he's probably doing the quest. Oh, there he is. 7 out of 12. Okay. It just takes a minute, I guess, for questy to populate. Which makes sense. I need to be more patient with many things. Oh, you've got the axe from the Ring of Blood, don't you? You do.
And yeah, that's it. That's 12 out of 12. The Naru have not forgotten us. Arcanan Poros. They're feeding the souls they steal to a coffin that they have dragged out from Alcani crypts. My scouts believe the contents of the coffin to contain the first exarch of the crypts. They seek to resurrect the ancient one. Do not destroy whatever is in that coffin. Okay, yeah, let's destroy whatever is in the coffin. Where is that going to be at? Uh, it's down and below in the ruins. Which, yeah, I really. I'm going to be happy when we're not in this area anymore. It looks like we can go down right here. We got pretty far before getting dismounted. Uh, okay, where is this gonna be? Is it gonna be inside here? I suppose it is. Uh, huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really seeing what they're talking about here. Wait, is it above us? <laughs> yeah, it might be. Yeah, man, I don't know. I I really am starting to dislike this place. That's for sure. So how are we going to get above us, exactly? Yeah, like... Come on now. So back up we go, you know, the same way we came. Uh, what I like in retail is like when objectives have the up or down arrows to tell you like what elevation they're at. I feel like that would be a good addition to Questy for people who do want to use Questy and do want that extra guidance. I would love to know what level shit is on. Uh, is it above me? Is it below me? Because, you know, it could save some time, which is the reason we use these add-ons to begin with, to save a little bit of time. And, uh, yeah. Would be good. So let's look up here now, see if it becomes any more clear. Yeah, it looks like it's right up here. Use the coffin and kill its contents. Good. And there we go. See, it could have been really, really simple if we had not wasted two minutes running down below. End draws near. Yeah, we're not getting anything out of this quest, Blessings upon your which family. is pretty typical. 
And I'm going to head over to this other quest next. But yeah, I think we're probably at the end of our little alliance here. Let's head over to the west and see about getting the eggs to, uh, of the cursed ones. Whatever we're looking for, they are not inside the buildings. Chain lightning seems a little wasted on a single target. Not seeing any items on the ground around here either. Yeah, nothing. Nothing on the ground here. Let's go check one of the other spawn points. Just need to see what it looks like so I know what we're looking for. So maybe there will be one at one of the things Questy marks. Questy is not very accurate when it comes to marking stuff you've got to pick up off the ground. It just isn't. Again, here, there's nothing here. Um, yeah, there's nothing here. I don't, I don't know. It says we're looking for eggs, right? Says we're looking for eggs, I see... Okay, are these the eggs? Yeah, I think I see them here in the little nest. So that's what they look like, they're gonna be in the nest, they're purple and uh, look like Void Corrupted. So we're redeeming three of them, and then I guess we're killing three of them that can't be redeemed, is apparently how this is going to be set up. And that's supposing that we can actually find a six nests that have eggs in them, because I'm looking at a lot of eggs, or a lot of nests rather, that don't have any eggs in them, so... I don't know if the lack of eggs means that someone has just been through here and that they've they've clicked on all the eggs and maybe we're simply waiting for them to respawn. I don't know if it means that they don't spawn in these locations. I guess time will tell. Would have been nice to have another quest to, to pair up with this one, just to give us something to do while we are just kind of stuck in a waiting pattern here. Uh, we'll grab this one again. Is this the same one? Uh, I don't know. Similar. Oh, the other one was here, I think. Okay, this is one we're gonna have to fight.
Yeah, it's gonna get kind of boring checking the same four nests over and over again. Let's just fight some guys and maybe that will at least make it seem less tedious. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. I'm looking at a priest in the queue, and for his little tag, he has put Fury DPS. Literally, you, you can't make it up. Fury DPS as a level 70 priest. That's pretty impressive. Pretty damn impressive. And unfortunately, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that I just saw other players here doing the same thing we're doing. So uh, that's gonna set us back a little bit. Yep. Back to running around in circles. So now we need to have ones that actually like come out and they fly away. And I'm pretty sure it's random whether whether that happens or not. Yeah, see here's the problem. We could find seven more eggs and they could all do this. Uh, when what we really need is to find two more eggs where they're purified and they fly off like happy little birds into the sunset or the, the ash haze or whatever is constituting the sky over here. That is what we need to happen. What we don't need to happen is to continue fighting them. It's like you think you only need to, ha to hatch six eggs, but in reality you're probably going to hatch more like 12 or 15 eggs before you get what you need. Which is a problem when there's a complete lack of eggs. Yeah, they're running to this one, so I'm not going to swoop in there and steal that. However, they did miss this one, so I am going to grab this one. Uh, for all the good it did us. Well, here we go. Here's a couple. Let's see if we can make anything happen here. Fingers crossed. Oh, there's one. One more. Okay, yep. That makes me happy. Uh, we can be done with that. Uh, we're not doing the Doom Skulls. Let's go get this turned in. I, I think I'm ready to get out of Terrakar. I think I need a change of scenery and a change of attitude. 
And I think those two things are going to coincide with each other. Yeah, I think no matter what, I'm, I'm going to turn this in. And I'm going to take us to Nagrand. And I'll hold whatever quests we have here, and we'll just hold on to them. Oh, good, thanks. I, I, I appreciate that, being dismounted in a single hit. I am going to keep running from you. I don't have any interest in fighting you. Yeah, we'll hold on to the group quest. We'll hold on to any other follow-ups. And if we do need to come back because of, like, a level issue, uh, we can do that. But I, I'd rather not. It is grim work toiling with someone's hatchlings, yet ignoring the brewing evil would be a, a bleak proposition as well. You've done well. Adele's favor shines upon your heart. Okay. Uh, what do we need here? Nothing. Man, can I just replace the Bracers of Valor already? Can we just be done with this? Strength, agility, and stamina. We're, we're going to replace them. <laughs> okay. It's a level 52 blue. I know it has the 12 strength on there, additionally to the 7 strength. That's the reason why I've kept it for so long, but... I don't know. We just got to move on. Terok's perch, Skedis, looms above the bone waste to the east. Extinguish the foul signal. Are we going to get anything for this? Yeah, we're not doing this then. Guys, I'm going to get us over to Nagrand. And I will just do some editing and cut us back in once we are heading into the zone. Yeah, I never realized before that there's an entrance to Nagrand in Terracar, but yeah, everything is uh, very well connected. Oh, here we go. Yep, some rolling hills, some blue sky, some calming environments that don't look like the blasted surface of the moon in ruins. Yes, this is exactly what I need. Uh, we have a little ways to run to get to where we are going here. Let's go to the north, I think. Yeah, this is the kind of environment that I need. Look at that uh, line of sight we have through the various parts of the zone here. Let's head this way. Uh, we've got some quests over here that uh, maybe we want to stop and grab. What's our quest log look like? 8 out of 25? Yeah. I mean, I feel like we could grab these. Uh, I still want to get the town and I want to grab everything there before we do very much. Uh, the Ring of Blood is up here. 
which we will do at some point. Let's come take a look at these quests over here. Looks like we've got a crashed gyrocopter or something. Oh, it's Hemet. You want to earn a place in this safari? You'll have to prove yourself. I don't care what you've hunted before. You haven't hunted until you hunt what we hunt here. Start with a cleft hoof if you're man enough. Be good. Okay. Uh, what else? How may I aid you? Windrock mastery. Thirty windrocks. Watch over you. Greetings. And talbuk mastery. Light bless you. Okay, yeah, it's good to have these. We can just kind of, if we get other quests in the area, we can kind of pair them up. Uh, what are we missing? Is there a quest here that I, I'm not seeing in the world? Huh, that's a little bit weird. Not sure what that's about. All right, let's go into town and start picking up some of the quest here. So this is Garadar. We had a breadcrumb here from Zangermarsh. Missing Meghari procession. Great Mother says that we must press on and serve our people. She says that we must serve as an example for Garrosh to show that life goes on. I have so many matters to attend to here, especially with Great Mother having taken ill. Would you honor the Maghar by helping one of their matrons? Several days ago, we sent a funeral procession to the ancestral grounds, and they have yet to return. Okay. Can help with that. So Thrall is here. 
surprisingly. What do you need? I thought we did a quest where he like arrived, but it's it is kind of weird just to show up and here he is. But yeah, there he is. Glory to the horde. A being riding atop a nether drake arrived in town late last week. He introduced himself as Altrius and then proceeded to ask us several questions about Nagrand. He claimed that he was hunting Legion. That such insanity was actually his job. Can you imagine a person who would willingly hunt demons? Before he left, he asked that we let the would-be heroes in town know that he will be staying in western Nagrand for a while and that they should seek a purpose to find him. Interesting. Throne of Elements. Greetings, Torrid. I am Yal Han, Elementalist of the Earthen Ring. I have come to Garadar to inform the Maghar of the state of the elements. Could I ask a favor of you? Would you travel to the Throne of Elements in northern hills of Nagran beyond Skysong Lake and tell the Elementalist Shavak that I have arrived in Garadar safely? Strength. Ah, uh, here's the breadcrumb. What do you need? Even though he endeavors to hide it, a look of relief spreads over Krogan's face. It's about time you got here. Granted, you're not an army, but any able-bodied Tauren can wield, that can wield a weapon or chant a spell is welcome here. The people of Garadar are kin to all the Horde, and we are proud to shed our blood in their defense. And, uh, here's Garrosh. The Impotent Leader. I have escaped certain death, surviving a cowardly nighttime attack by boulderfist ogres upon my village. But I ask you, stranger, for what? Joran points to Garrosh. He has refused to give us assistance. Ogres are rampaging through my town and he sits here, weeping into a fire. What has become of us? What will become of us? I've sent a scout, Kilroth, to the village. Now the Bleeding Hollow ruins. Will you find him and give him your assistance? He hides on the border of Nagran and Terakar. Ah, uh, what do we got over here? You Proving your strength. Oh. Though we seek a peaceful life, our enemies are many. Of these, none match the ogres in sheer brute power. If you seek to prove your powers, prowess to us, bring me the war beads they wear around their necks. Go forth to victory. Uh, a couple of wanted posters, Gazilda the Crone, and Zorbo the Advisor. It's only about a million quests. No big deal, right? Vile idolatry. With our leadership in ruin, we are left to open to attack from all sides. The foul Merkblood tribe could not have picked a better time to attack us. In recent days, we have been subject to no less than five assaults from the Broken. They have taken over our, our only other territorial holding in the area, Sunspring Post. We must strike and show them that we are not powerless. Strike down the vile idolaters and bring me their twisted idols of worship so that they may ride the lightning. Oh, ride the lightning, yeah. May your blades never mm -hmm. Speak, friend. Missing war party. After the last Merkblood raid, a group of younglings decided to act. We tried to stop them, but the rage had taken hold. It has now been one week since we last saw our beloved younglings. You must find them. They have just barely reached adolescence. How can they expect to defeat such savages? They took the road leading west out of town. Follow the road around and look for signs of our younglings. They're probably all dead. If I had to guess. And Merkblood leaders. We have lost many friends in recent weeks. For decades we have dealt with the ogres of Nagram, but now a new threat has arisen. The broken tribe of Merkblood attacked our village to the southwest, Sunspring Post, and managed to kill or evict all of the orcs that inhabited the town. While the others feel that the best course of action is to kill indiscriminately, I know that we must destroy their leadership. Be safe. We're gonna kill indiscriminately and kill their leadership, if that's okay with you. Alright, well, uh, whew, geez. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff to do. I think I kind of want to start by working on the kill quest, honestly. Uh, maybe that gets us level 67 and makes some of the rest of everything a little bit easier. We've got war beads all the way over here, so we can kind of work our way through here and take out some of the other objectives. Maybe we pick up some of these other quests while we're at it. But yeah, I think we will uh, 
I think we'll start with the eastern half of the zone. How does that sound? Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Although maybe, just maybe, uh, doing all these kill quests would be better with some rested experience. I don't know. I mean, it's a, they're huge kill quests, right? They're they're actually just huge. So yeah, I, I think what we will do is we'll work our way towards these other objectives, and uh, I think that's going to be a good way to handle it. And that way we're not just circling in one spot and fighting stuff, we can actually be headed in a direction. And there's actually two things that I did not do that are going to be really important to do. Uh, the first thing is going to be to set our hearthstone. The second thing is going to be to uh, get the flight point. I do. <laughs> I do want to tank Durnhold. That's why I'm in the queue and mark myself as a tank. It's pretty, pretty straightforward actually. Do you want to invite me to a group that you will then put together? I never ran it, but I'll put the group together. That That's fine. We're not expecting anybody to be an expert. I haven't ran it in over a decade. Uh, where is the innkeeper? Innkeeper, innkeeper, there you are. Glory to the Horde. Let's make this our home. And let's grab the flight point here. Okay, there we go. There's the housekeeping done. Especially if we're going to be going all the way off to do Caverns of Time. Uh, I'd like to have a quick way back. So what do we got so far? Shaman, Priest, Druid. I'm tempted to kind of keep questing until we get a summon. I mean, it's not going to be any faster for us to head there than it is going to be for anybody else to head there. That's not really being a team player, but it's something. Oh, we have a teammate nearby, so this is not this is not our loot. <laughs> ah, that's actually hilarious and a little sad because it means we can't uh, we can't skin that one. That's funny. Oh, you're gathering all these up. No, that's kind of annoying. It's not kind of annoying. It's really annoying. That was really annoying. Everyone's kind of doing the same thing. They're pulling multiples, right? I guess if you're a class that has a lot of AoE, that makes sense. We are not a class or spec right now that has a lot of AoE. Uh, we also... I can't really even contemplate doing an AoE build right now because we don't have two one-handers. So even if I really wanted... 
even if I really wanted to uh, do some AoE stuff and go Fury, we're not really set up to do that. And I don't really want to keep paying our respect costs. The cool thing is I think we just got kill credit from someone else killing stuff, so maybe we just like get closer to them. And uh, yep, that was uh, that was the priest, probably the healer. No, they were DPS anyway. Great. Cool. So we have heals still, probably. Oh wait, we never had a healer. Yeah, you should definitely be the one putting this group together. Am I starting to regret being in this group? A little bit. I really want to do dirt hold though. So I kind of want to stick it out. Obviously, we need to have a healer before anything much happens. Although, we do have some help right now on this quest, which is very welcome. So, if nothing else, it helps us with this. I'm kind of happy that we're fighting our own things. I want to be able to proc a victory rush, and we really can't do that if uh, they're getting the last hit on things. Now what do we have? Druid. Druid. Are we going to do this with three druids and a shaman? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, obviously, we probably got a mix of... We got a mix of Boomkin, Feral, and Healer, I hope. But that's still a lot of druids. And now we're going to be losing our buddy who's helping us with this quest. Which is even worse. Looking for group finder. Looking for group finder. We need it. It needs to be in Wrath. Even if they don't put it in right away, I hope they put it in over time as people realize that it's... It's gonna help people do dungeons. If you're the kind of person that wants to run dungeons, and that's like some of your favorite content, you want to advocate for the Looking for Group tool. Aw, oh, I'd like to get some of those guys, but that elemental's in the way. Well, it got quiet all of a sudden. The music just kind of cut out. Windy Reed Pass. Sounds like a pleasant place. Alright, a mage. So that's a little bit of diversity at least. Trying to remember like how I felt about Caverns of Time back in the day. Uh, what I remember most is like having to walk Thrall around, right? So I feel I remember I remember Black Morass. That uh, that was not a fun dungeon. Unfortunately, as a warrior, I need a piece of the bold set out of there. I'm pretty sure. 
And yeah, that's the one where you have to close the portals and Medivh is there. That was an annoying one, uh, for sure, and I feel like I ran it a million times. Durnhold, I, I don't really have any bad memories of. I'm trying to think of what the failure points were in Durnhold, where like, if, was there a point where you could fail the whole event, basically? Because that's how Black Morass was, like, you could screw it up and you could just fail the entire thing. You could be in there for an hour and a half, and then not complete the run. Uh, which was really, really bad. And definitely happened to me. <laughs> Probably numerous times, uh, especially I think I'm thinking more like obviously running on heroic, right? Maybe I'll get really lucky and I'll just get the gear I need right away. <laughs> right, right. That's what's gonna happen, Robert. Bold pieces will just shoot out of the bosses to you and you'll only have to run every dungeon once. I am not- I am not getting into some random person's discord. That is not gonna happen. Not for a regular run, probably not for Heroic 5, man. I am not getting into someone's discord for anything short of a raid. And even then, if I had to get in somebody's discord, that's gonna be me listening in. And not talking to people. I am- I'm pretty antisocial. And, and I don't really enjoy just jumping into random people's discord servers. If I wanted to join a random Discord server, I would join a random guild, and I would be in their Discord. Skidding is at 347 out of 375. I wonder if we're even going to get this capped out before Wrath launches. We're, we're never getting skill ups, basically never getting skill ups. So it's kind of hard to max out the skill level when you're just not getting skill ups. That's what you like to hear. Dungeoning between work breaks. Hmm. You're dungeoning between work breaks? So what, what you mean by that sentence literally is that while you should be working, you're dungeoning. <laughs> 
Are you dungeoning while on work breaks? I don't know about that. I also don't know about my health. It's not looking very good. I should probably uh, get a heal going here. Why are you speaking to me? What would you like of me? Have you done the quest for OHB? I have not. No. No, if there's... Nope. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the things that I don't remember and don't know that nothing tells you is that maybe maybe there's a uh, maybe there's an attunement quest. He patrols the road from the keep to South Shore. So maybe we're not going to be doing this. Yeah, I don't I don't have I don't have an attunement quest. And I kind of an attunement quest had crossed my mind. I can't make heads or tails of what they're talking about though. Five meters of the NPC walking around in a big ass circle. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll have to wait for me to do something. Is that the one? Oh, okay. So the attunement quest for when you talk to the dragons and they uh, like, do they have you like go around the cavern? Yeah. I mean, God, attunement quest. Don't know how I feel about attunement quest. Uh, I don't feel great about them. Let's put it that way. But apparently it's something we're going to have to do to do any dungeons in uh, Caverns of Time, so... Uh, yeah, we are definitely just stuck in combat here with this thing. Getting lower and lower on health every second. And guys, I'm gonna wrap things up here. I am gonna try to do this run and see how it goes. Hopefully it will be good and there will be a Durnhold video coming out. Uh, if not, we'll be back in Nagran pretty soon and I am happy to be here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate you spending some of your time here. As always, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again really soon. Bye now.